Hello my makeup loving friends. I thought that this week would be fairly quiet, what with it being Christmas, Bonza, Hanukkah, Saturnalia, whatever it is that you want to call it. Uh, but my lord, uh, was I incorrect? Um, uh, my poor summer child self thought, so we'll take a rest. But no, there's been loads of things so we might as well just dump straight on into it. Uh, Lunar Skies Cosmetics have added four new shades of their liquid lipstick. It includes Cookie Latte Rose and Mocha. Beauty Blender have come out with something super, super innovative. JK, it's another beauty blender. Uh, but this time it, it changes colour based upon water. I don't really know why people would need that but if if you I mean it's almost like the lol doll equivalent of a beauty blender I mean I, I don't I don't really get it uh, they're available online and they will be in stores um now really Ulla Henriksen has come out with a new cleanser it is called the truth daily uh, truth juice daily cleanser uh this everyday cleanser made with orange fruit water and pha removes dirt oil and long wear eye makeup uh, and reveals refreshed energized skin in just one step and that is available now if you are interested um tarte cosmetics being super innovative as per usual have come out with their brand new surfer curl vegan volumizing mascara um it is apparently a sweat proof mascara I, I don't know it says that it volumizes lifts and conditions your lashes withstands humidity and keeps up with your active lifestyle <laughs> i do not have an active lifestyle I am as sloth as you can get. Uh, it is 12 hours flake free and smudge proof wear if you're interested in that. Chi Chi Cosmetics Official have launched the OMFG3 and OMFG stands for Oh My Frank and George. So it's not what you think it is. Um, it has 32 highly pigmented shades in mattes and shimmers in a variety of textures which scream bright colour fun. Uh, I mean it's not it's not the worst thing I've seen, but I'm veering towards smaller palettes these days. Um, I get a bit overwhelmed with big palettes and kind of go, oh, what do I do with you? Uh, it's available now for 45 Australian dollars. Uh, RCLO Cosmetics have come out with a couple of new different things. They have their Pyro Eyeshadow Palette for $26, which is um, a series of warm tones, but they also have their In the Rough Eyeshadow Palettes for $26, which is more cool tones, and they're in the shape of a triangle as you can see from the picture. They have their gloss, which is a high finish shine without the sticky feeling for $16 each. And they come in the shades Baby Glow, a sheer pink, Cut Diamond, clear with iridescent finish, Honey Dipped, a creamy nude, Cosmic Drip, sheer pink with golden shimmer, Candy Floss, a creamy pink, and Infrared, which is a creamy red. And they also have highlighters, which are $19 each. They are designed with primer built in, apparently. And they come in the shades Sub-Zero, Magnetic Fields, Pink Steel, and Carbon Gold. And they are available now. Natasha Denise, Nona, which are releasing, in my opinion, a bit too many things because they are a more expensive brand. I think they need to just breathe. And um, in my opinion, this isn't anything new or interesting. It is their new mini glam eyeshadow. It is available now. It has five cool tone shades in matte, metallic, and sparkling finishes. Um, if they're mini, I think they're $25 each. Um, I, I mean, it's not the worst, but I, I don't find it particularly interesting. Elf Cosmetics have added to their uh, concealer family. It is their part of their camo family. It is apparently a hydrating concealer, and that is available now if you are interested. Um, Juvia's Place. I did slightly lose my tiny mind when I saw these because like I said, I'm looking for smaller palettes and these are smaller palettes. So they have four different um, eyeshadow palettes. They're $13.99 each or you can get, I think the whole bundle for like $52. Uh, there's four of them. So there's the violets, so those are all purple shades. There's the berries, those, those are pink shades. The chocolates, which is more like... Um, kind of buttery browns and then the nudes which are obviously nudes um I went and got the violets and the berries because I have no self-control uh, I mean I think we all know I have shades like this in my collection I don't need them but 
there you go. Uh, Fancy Gloss, which is um, a nail polish brand, they have released this new shade. It is called Petunia, uh, and it is apparently a jelly polish. So if you're interested in that, have a little look. This has been kind of spotted. It's um, Hourglass, and it seems to be their new Vanish Liquid Concealer, uh, which is apparently coming in 22 shades. We have no further information on that, but that's a whole coming soon thing. In addition to that, they also have a limited edition number 28 lip treatment oil in at night for the year of the rat. Everyone is doing a lot of things for the year of the rat. Um, they said that this marks the first time the best-selling brick red lip color has been translated into a glossy oil that delivers a flush of healthy color. An advanced anti-aging lip treatment, the formula combines essential oils, vitamins, and three powerful active ingredients in a supremely luxurious oil blend. The sleek applicator features an opulent 24 carat gold plated tip. I mean, that seems a bit unnecessary, considering it's available for $49. Like, did you need to put a gold-plated tip? That just seems kind of wasteful and... I mean, I don't know. Mm. Inish Free Official, so Inish Free Cosmetics, they have partnered up with Mickey Mouse. And I'm getting a bit sick of all of the Disney collaborations. I get it, Disney is a big, like... <sighs> they're a big brand, but I, it feels like such a money grab to me and obviously all of these things are they're not just like doing this out of the goodness of their hearts they're trying to take our money damn you um none of this is interesting to me but it's part of their year of the rat collection um so they have things like um like little makeup bags like a blush set um nail polishes lots of different things and all with like mini mouse um packaging they have skincare all of that and that collection is launching on january the first on their website urban decay cosmetics have extended their all-nighter range with two new products and i'm actually like i think this is a smart thing because they are known for their all-nighter thing i mean i love their all-nighter setting spray it's like a necessary product for me it just is i live in ireland it rains this is the only way this will stick on my face. They have their All Nighter Ultra Matte Setting Spray for $33. Um, they say the Ultra Matte's breathable formula keeps makeup looking shine free and fresh for up to 16 hours without fading or settling into fine lines. So sweat, get wet and go to the after party. No touch ups needed and that is $33. US They also have the All Nighter Face Primer for $36. Again, I'm kind of surprised almost they didn't come out with this sooner. I think it's a very smart addition. They say it preps skin giving it a lifted feel and a hit of hydration by helping to reduce fine lines and erase the, the appearance of pores. All Nighter is a no-brainer step in your skin prep routine and they are available now on their own website. Don't know when they'll be coming to the likes of Devon's but there you go. Um, when I saw this, this is by Kimchi Chic Beauty, which is difficult to say fast. I I thought the packaging looked so much like Lime Crime. I was like, oh, Lime Crime are coming out with new things. And I have been really enjoying Lime Crime. So it, it's not. This is Kimchi Chic Beauty. Uh, and I put it on, I think it was Beauty News. Yeah, Beauty News official. I was like, does anyone else think this looks like Lime Crime? And loads of people were like, yes. So I was like, okay, I'm not having some sort of a fit. They have their high key gloss for $9 and they come in 17 different shades. The high key gloss is an extremely high shine lip gloss. It's apparently very comfortable to wear and has a non-sticky formula which glides onto the lips. Ah, I'm not that big on lip gloss personally. They also have the wet gloss uh, for $9 in three different shades. There is Manhattan, which is clear, Atlanta, a translucent peach, and Miami, which is a translucent hot pink. It would look quite cute on this lip colour right now. Hashtag just saying. It's a super lightweight, non-sticky, high shine gloss with lip pumping abilities. So, or lip plumping, not pumping. Ooh. So I'm like, does that mean they've added in mint? Like, if so, that's nice. But if there's other things that they've added, it may not be as pleasant. It may be more stinging than like refreshing. Uh, they say get deliciously glossy plump lips with wet gloss and they also have the stage proof matte setting spray for 14 US dollars. Um, the setting spray has a bonus ingredient apparently, silky essence from rice. I don't really know much about that. Does anyone know anything about that? Can you, if, if you can, if you do, will you let me know? I know nothing about these things. So that is from Kim Chi Chic Beauty. 
difficult name to pronounce. Uh, we also have Nocturnal Cosmetics. They have come up with a new loose blush highlighter. I, I love a mix of like a blush and a highlighter. I just think that they're really nice. So I think that looks really, really pretty. Notoriously Morbid are also dropping a new collection. Um, it's, I think, for the end of December, beginning of January. Um, so they come in the shades uh, Cultic. Yeah, I think Cultic, Creed, uh, Delicate, and, well, I can't read. I think it's like Intimidation. <gasps> don't, don't, don't quote me. Uh, BH Cosmetics have launched a new Digital Future 16 color eyeshadow palette. Um, it's $12. It's nothing new, it's nothing interesting, it is just a lot of nudes and then a pop of blue, a pop of pink, and a little pop of purple. Yeah, I'm not I'm not going for that. A friend of mine uh, <laughs> basically tagged me in this because they're like, you love Ofra, and I'm like, I do. I have a problem with Ofra um, in that I just... Uh, losing my mind uh, when it comes to Ofra. Um, but they have the Glitch Eyeshadow Palette uh, for $29, uh, which has nine different shades in it. And some of those, I think, particularly the one in the middle, you could use as like a very cool toned highlighter. In saying that, though, I don't really want this eyeshadow palette. It, uh, like, I have shades like this. It seems to be a very metallic looking eyeshadow palette. And um, I have ordered their Francesca palette I, it actually technically came for free with an order that I had so I was like eh might as well try it um so I've yet to try that I don't I've never really heard much about the Ofra Cosmetics eyeshadow formula but I live and die by their liquid lip and by their highlighters because I just think that they are stunning but I also have their B or B um lip gloss which is a sheer sparkly pink lavender for $15 and that sounds really nice they're going to be available from January 1st if you are interested um this has been spotted out in the wild Ah, because it's wet and wild. Uh, they have their Photo Focus Foundation Dewy uh, for $6.49 in 20 shades, and they have their Photo Focus Primers in Matte and Luminous, and they're available on their website, from what I understand. Uh, ColourPop, because it's been a week, so they've had to come up with things. They have uh, their Lunar New Year collection, and it includes um, three Luxe liquid lipsticks in the shades Take a Bow on Cloud Dynasty, and it's a banger. They have the Luck You Super Shock Cheek Shadow in Drop a Hat, which I have, Drop of a Hat. It, it's beautiful, it's one of my favorites, and Goody Two Shoes. So it seems to be that they are rebranding stuff that they have had, but just putting them into different packaging. And they have their White Tea Face Milk from 4th Ray Beauty, which is a replenishing moisture booster, and that is available from January 3rd. Fenty Beauty have come out with a new mascara. So the fat side of the mascara apparently holds maximum product to quickly load and lift lashes, and the flat side defines and curls. So you have to do a little bit of a switcheroo with these. Um, they say it's long wear water resistant uh, formula to stand up to smudging sweat and tears. <laughs> so themselves and Tarte are all about the, the sweat and tears. Um, that is available from January onwards. Becca Cosmetics are also into the whole uh, Lunar New Year and they have this cute little highlighter. I think it's adorable. Look at it. It's a little wrap adorable. It's a pale incandescent gold for $39 and it's in the shade Moonstone which is FYI an existing shade. So if you have this shade do not buy this because you go oh look at the cute little limpid. Breathe. Leave it. Unless unless you like really love rats. I can't tell you what to do. You're an adult hopefully. <laughs> and it is your own money. I'm not going to tell you how to spend it but just full disclosure, that is an existing shade. Um, Laura Mercier have their new Pure Canvas Primer Collection and they have, I think it's like six different types of primers. They have the Perfecting, which is a skin perfecting primer that creates a flawless canvas for makeup application and extended wear, apparently. They have the Illuminating, which is an illuminating water-based primer with light reflecting pearls that enhances skin's luminosity and extends the wear of makeup. They have Hydrating, which is a water-based primer that promotes long-term moisture recovery while extending the wear of makeup. They have the Protecting Broad Spectrum SPF 30, which is an SPF 30 protecting primer that shields skin against harmful UVA and UVA 
UVB rays and creates a flawless canvas for extended makeup wear. They have Blurring, which is a water-based blurring primer that absorbs excess oil for a mattifying soft focus effect while extending the wear of makeup. And finally, they have the Supercharged Essence, which is a unique transformative milky essence delivering next level priming with a visibly smoothing and ultra soothing complex. Uh, and they're available now on their website. Alien Cosmetics have also come out with some new single eyeshadows and they're available on their shop. Nothing wildly interesting to me there. I'm happily passing on that. Uh, this morning, Kaleidos Makeup have announced that they are coming out with two new shades of their Lip Tonic Liquid Lipstick. Now, I've never tried the liquid lipstick, but I really like their eyeshadow formula. So if you're interested, these are them. There is Ambition, which is TM04, which TM are my initials. Oh, um, it's a cool toned true red and they have collision which is in TM05 which is a merlot based um, which meets a very metallic shine so they sound really cute they are coming soon no exact date yet but they are coming soon now we are on to sneak peeks because like I said we're past the holiday thing we don't have to talk about that anymore we're done um, Smoky Glow, who is a YouTuber, I really enjoy her. She has teamed up with Midas Cosmetics and they have a new collaboration. No info on what the inside of the palette looks like. This is the outside, but I did think it looked a little bit Makeup Revolution-y. Not that that's a bad thing, their packaging is quite cute. Uh, Too Faced, it looks like they're coming out with a new highlighter trio compact. No major info on that, that's all we have. Um, Jouer Cosmetics are coming out with what looks to be a new concealer don't know they say it's meant to be a game changer um makeup forever have some limited edition um packaging all around again the lunar new year they have their ultra hd loose powder their powder kabuki in 124 their artist face color refillable palette in l and xl and they are coming soon glam light have basically said hey we're coming out with a new palette which is called the cake palette no further information on that um again more limited edition lunar new year packaging Laura Mercier have their set for luck loose setting powder in translucent and their puff so it's a staple thing that we already have don't go buying it unless like if you have it already unless you're really there for the packaging it's nothing new they also have the Givenchy Prisma Libra and La Rouge lipstick in 316 so both powders and a lipstick which have new packaging Kleena Cosmetics have also given a sneak peek at some new eyeshadows I mean they look really nice they mm, that looks nice uh that is it that is everything <coughs> excuse me that is it that is everything that has been released in the last couple of days uh feel free to like comment subscribe share this amongst your friends because i'm but a young well i'm not young but i'm a new youtube person and it would be nice to have more people come in and welcome to the fold um <laughs> <laughs> we discuss makeup. Uh, feel free to like, comment, subscribe, all that general jazz. Already said that. Um, all of the information on the products um, yeah, as to where you can find them is down in the description box. Uh, leave any comments. If you find anything interesting, if there's anything that you're like, oh my God, what are they doing? Let me know. I want to hear what you guys think. I will see you guys in the next video. Bye.